Hey fellow vegans, it's Florian here. And today I'm sitting here with Katrin. Katrin is an awesome vegan mom. And we're going to be discussing how Katrin lost 11.2 pounds in the last few months and got a six pack. Katrin, very nice to have you here. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. It's nice to be here. <laughs> cool. So Katrin, let's start out with your vegan journey. How long have you already been vegan? How many years? Um, this will be my third year being vegan. Okay, awesome. Vegan veteran here. And let's go back to the beginning of your fitness journey before we started working together. What did you do at that time? You know, what were you trying to do and what were your goals? Well, I was trying to stay healthy and uh, stay fit. Um, I'm, I'm in my later 30s now, so I know that it's important for me to maintain. And um, I was running about uh, three times a week. I enjoy running and I was running a, a 5K um, three times a week, but that was all I was doing. I, I felt like it wasn't quite enough. Um, so I was looking for some help and guidance to help get my body, my fitness level where I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. Got it. Awesome. You were already you know, very active before and you have a very busy lifestyle with the amount you work and with the awesome kid uh, that you, that you have. So which, what was kind of like the main problems that you were looking to solve, you know, before working with me? The main problem. The main problem was that I felt like my body was not very toned. Mm -hmm. um, I was still thin-ish. I, I was not overweight. I did not feel that. But I felt like my body did not look fit. I didn't look strong. Mm -hmm. And um, I felt a lack of energy. So I wanted to, to look stronger, feel stronger, and have more energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before kind of like stumbling upon this coaching, how were you looking to solve this problem? I wasn't really, I was, I, I was thinking, well, maybe I could run more often. Uh, maybe I can do some research and try to figure out, um, a, you know, a workout plan for myself that involved um, lifting weights, but it was just difficult to know where to start. And, and honestly, it was so hard to find the time too, because I'm a new mom. Uh, my daughter, Leah is, um, now she's 13 months old, but, um, at the time she was an infant, just a little baby. And so, of course, that made it even, even more challenging to, to find the time to, first of all, figure do the research to figure out how to do this myself um, and then to implement it. So I just kind of stuck with what I was used to, the, the running, and um, hoping that increasing running when I had a chance to would get me where I wanted to go. But it wasn't working and it was, it was frustrating. Mm -hmm. That was exactly the next question that I would ask you. It's like, what were your frustrations? At that point, you, you try different things, you tried the running. Like, how was that frustrating? Tell me more about that. Well, it was frustrating because it wasn't targeting. I know that it wasn't targeting the areas that, um, that I felt more insecure about my body. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, um, I, I feel like my arms are either, you know, skinny, shapeless, kind of flabby. I've never been happy with the way that they look. And, um, you know, running probably won't do much for that. So, uh, so it, it was frustrating that, um, even though I was doing what I was, what, what I had time to do, um, I knew that it wasn't really helping me shape my body the way I wanted it to be shaped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. And like right now, your arms look very muscular, like in this video yeah. as well, you know, like with the shoulders. So well done. If, well, we're going to touch upon the results, like in, uh, in a few seconds. So let's say like there was a situation, these were the problems that you were having or the frustrations. So where did you first stumble upon me? Gosh, that's a great question. I, I, I think this is how it happened. Um, I, I love being vegan. Okay, I do. <laughs> I, I love it. I'm, I'm always trying to immerse myself in vegan culture learn about um, new products, new, you know, vegan cheeses, new uh, restaurants that are opening, uh, fashion lines. And so I sign up for lists for listers all the time. I sign up for things that, um, that are informational. And I, I want to say that I was at a conference and that uh, they were talking about vegan fitness and there was an email sign up. And I think that's actually how it, how it happened. Um, and, and then I started getting emails from you. Uh, talking about 
uh, people on their fitness journey and how, um, you know, it helped them so much. And I thought it was really cool and unique because it was catered toward people like me. So um, I was interested and, and that's, I guess that's how it started. Okay. And was it specifically not the, the peak your interest part, which was the next question you take all the questions that were like, you're very good at this. I can't really, or, like, what, is, is it specifically like the vegan part or was there something else that piqued your interest about you know, what I'm doing? For me, it was the vegan part. Mm -hmm. vegan part. I, if, I, if I sign up for any mainstream fitness program, they're going to, who knows what they'll say, they're going to recommend, you know, some type of animal product that's going to, you know, be gross to me. So I, I don't, it just wouldn't be a good match. Um, and it just seemed like a, it seemed like a good match because I, I believe that um, it's, it's, it's just the way, it's the way to go in terms of a lifestyle. But, um, but I mean, all that aside, it, uh, in terms of nutrition and fitness, like, mm -hmm. there are a lot of solid reasons to be vegan, which we don't need to talk about them right now. But, mm -hmm. but in terms of fitness, um, I think that, uh, in, you know, in nutrition, um, I wanted to learn more about that. I knew um, uh, already that that was the way to go, but mm -hmm. I didn't know, have any guidance into how to direct it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so, so the vegan part was most appealing to me because I felt like it was going to be a good match for my interests, my lifestyle. I would stick with this program. I wouldn't have to alter it myself. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it was just going to be tailor made for me. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So right now you took the leap of faith. You know, you stumbled upon me. You had the problems, frustrations. You stumbled upon me. You're like, okay, let's let's see what Florin is all about. You we hopped on a call together, and now you know a few months later. Which kind of results have you seen by working with me? The results have I seen? Gosh, um, I started seeing results really quickly. I was super motivated. I was in a. It was in a. I was in a place where I was ready to um, be disciplined, start a schedule. I, I just needed that guidance, and it was just such a good match. So, I, so the results happened very quickly. In fact, I don't know if you remember it. They were. I started losing weight once I started counting uh, the calories and, and weighing myself every day and learning about what I should and should not be having every day. Um, it, it was almost immediate. Like within three weeks, I had already lost substantial weight. In fact, we were careful, like, okay, well, hold on. Let's try not to wait, lose too much weight too fast because that's how, that's how well I took to it. Like, oh, okay, this is a simple math problem almost. This is, you know, keep track of, of uh, what you're putting in your body um, and then make sure you're working out on these particular days and and my body just really uh it, it just it really worked well it was just a, like i said it was just a really good match um so my body took to it right away and within a few weeks i was already losing weight which i didn't even know that i wanted to lose weight um but once it started coming off i realized that oh yeah okay there was a little bit extra <laughs> extra extra chub there that didn't need to be there and I did not know, even really realize it was there until it started becoming muscle mm -hmm. and um, stopped being so flabby looking. And that was awesome. And um, so, and that was just in the first few weeks. And so fast forward six months and I feel like my body is completely different. And um, I'm super grateful. I, I, I'm, um, I, I've, I've bought new clothes. Uh, I have more confidence about what I look like. And um, I feel I feel healthier. I feel stronger. So, so that's awesome. um, the results have been great, Colin. Okay, it's very nice to hear, and also well done from you. Obviously, it takes two uh, to make to make great results. So, Catherine, so we touched base upon you know the situation with like sounds like before you had it was almost like fitness was not in your control, but then you know once we started working together very quickly, you saw that it is a math problem. It is something that you can absolutely take control over. Is this what happened? Yes, that's correct. It's uh, once you once you realize or when, well, you know it logically, like oh yeah, it's in my control, sure. But, but <laughs> once you, you give me the equation to so see, you know it really is in your control, and here's how you control it. Um, mm -hmm. That's uh, that's it's so empowering because mm -hmm. now I really can do it. I really can do it, and I know how to do it. Um, mm -hmm. So. 
it's it's uh, that extra piece of getting to know getting to know your own body better, really, because you you know what how to how to treat it to to make it its uh, maximum amount of healthiness and fitness. So so yes, uh, it, it definitely even if you know logically that yeah I know this is in my control, that doesn't necessarily mean that you know how to control it. Yeah, yeah, it's a difference between knowing that there's some control between or and between you know just absolute control and you can lose weight or gain weight by by almost like by demand. So right now you know you control your body better. We touched base upon you know increased confidence, uh, new clothes. But tell me more like which kind of areas of your life have improved by this transformation? Okay, well well the first one is is the confidence level. Um, I, f I feel more confident because I look better. I mean, it does. It's it's uh, it's a good feeling to be able to look at your body and and feel good about what you see, and um and it, there's also a pride a sense of pride there because I did that. You know, I decided to do that, and I I did this myself. So it's um, uh, I re it's re you know reaching a goal that that feels good. That that feels good and and you know um, helps self image, helps confidence level. Um, so there's there's the confidence level as. Uh, Secondly, I would say that um, I, the, having the additional strength has been very helpful. Uh, my daughter weighs about 21 pounds and I could, I mean, if I wanted to, I could curl her. <laughs> I can do, you know, and that's not- For true. reps, for reps. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but you know what I mean? I, could, I, it's, I can hold her very well. And, and there was a point, when, even at when um, six months ago, when she was not even this heavy, where I was like, oh man, this is really tough. Hold, hold, I'm gonna be so strong just holding my baby. But um, yeah, that, I don't feel that way anymore. Um, putting her in the crib is fine, even though she, she's gotten heavier, but I've gotten so much stronger that I don't even feel that anymore. I don't feel sore from having carried her, you know, um, and, and feeling sore because you've carried your child, it just feels, you just feel weak, like and and um, insufficient, I guess. Like, gosh, just, it just adds on to all the other difficult things about being a mom. And and, uh, and it's like on top of all this, I'm tired, I'm sleep deprived, my house is a mess, and I can't even carry her for too long. Like that's it's like an extra thing, and um and just this small thing makes you just more empowered as a mom. Like I can also, if I need to, carry her for as long as I need to. Um and uh, I and small story. Sorry if I'm. Talking too much, but this really is good. Crazy. Yeah, feel free. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I was at the grocery store um, just to grab a few things. I was in a hurry. Um, I because my baby was out of milk. She's made the switch from um, you know into whole milk now. So now she's okay. That's a different story. She, my baby's vegetarian right now because she's got to be drinking whole milk. So I'm I'm new to buying whole milk. So that's already weird. But I had to go buy some, and um, and then um, some extra things. I didn't grab a buggy. And um, I bought, you know, the gallon and some um, big, you know, Coke Chico's and stuff. So I'm carrying this stuff in my two hands up to the register. And I, the realization hits me because it's, you know, a huge store um, that I've carried this all across the store. I'm paying for it, you know, plop it down there and carry it to my car uh, without any help, without a buggy and without feeling like, <sighs> like, oh, this is so, I'm carrying so much stuff. Which I have absolutely had that experience in the past, where even just for this minimum amount of stuff, you're like, okay, I give up. Let me go and find a carrier so I can put all this stuff in there. And um, even though it was, you know, things that were heavy for me in the past, it was so easy and simple just to walk in and be able to grab whatever in my own arms and pay for it and carry it to my car. And th that may sound like a simple thing, but it was huge for me because that's new for me. Um, and, um, I told my husband like, man, being strong is so convenient. <laughs> it's so, it just makes life so much easier. Um, you know, throwing a big old stroller in the car. Um, we had people over carrying chairs outside, just these, these simple day-to-day -day tasks that I'm sure somebody like you or other people that are bigger and stronger take for granted every day. I do not. I do these things and I and it makes me feel confident and strong and empowered and no part of me is looking around like somebody help me like oh can you carry this for me? Like all that is gone. I'm like 
I'm the one like, hey, let me get that for you. Like, <laughs> I, I can carry it myself. So um, that I wanted to share that with you because that's I didn't anticipate that. Like I started the program. It's like I want to look better. I want to feel better. Um, but uh, I didn't anticipate like, hey, being stronger also means like <laughs> physically you're capable of doing more things. So um, that's just been an added bonus. And there's some good utility to being strong. <laughs> So, like, before we, we kind of started working together, do you think that those results would have been possible for you? Like, the results that you have right now? No, I do not. Because I have tried things in the past. Even, like, before I was a mom, um, there have been little spurts of um, going to this boot camp at the YMCA or, you know, just, like, little things like that. Like, you try to join up with uh, these groups that, of people who look like how you want to look like and, um, you know, it's, those things are not sustainable. At least they weren't for me. Um, so, I mean, like I said, like I'm, I'm at my age, I have, I feel like I've tried. I have tried other things. Um, even in college, I took a weightlifting course, um, and that was worked for the semester I was in the class. And then afterwards, I just didn't feel like I was getting the same results. I had questions. It wasn't. It didn't stick. So I, I don't know. I, I um. I don't think I could have achieved this without you, to be honest. Um, and I'm not just saying that because you're the one asking me the question. I'm <laughs> truly, I don't think I could have done it on my own. It's um, the way that you do it is a very, it's a unique tailored to you kind of program that works with your life um, in your things that make it hard for you. Like um, the amount of time that you have for this, um, the flexibility um, that you need in, in your, for what's going on with you. Um, so that's, I think that made a huge difference. So, um, so no, the answer is no, I don't think I could have done it by myself or, or believed that I could have made these kinds of results in, in six months by myself. Let's imagine like the old Catherine is watching this video and she's like, hmm, you know, like, I don't think that this is possible. Like, what would you tell her? Or like a person similar to Catherine who's like, you know, busy mom, like a lot of things going on in her life. She tried multiple things. And now she sees this video, she's probably like a little bit, a little bit hesitant, a little bit, oh, I'm not sure if this is actually possible for me. What would you tell that person? I would say try it because this is different. Uh, try it because this is going to be something that's going to be um, tailor-made to you. So whatever has been making it hard in the past, um, flooring will, will help you figure it out. Like, or, you know, whether it's you know, having, <laughs> you have an infant and so you don't have the time, you, you, there's somebody there that's supportive and that's going to talk with you about it and help you figure out how you can shape your life to, to meet your goals. Um, so that's, I, I would recommend that that person or old Catherine give it a try because, um, because it's not like having to show up to a class or having to do something um, like a rubric or a syllabus that's that's for everybody that just not going to fit I'm, i mean when you think of it that way it's yeah it's not going to fit everybody so um that would be my recommendation to, to to give it a chance and and see if you can create something that's unique to you that works in your life um and where you can it makes sense to you you can see your progress and and gosh at least for me it happens so, so quickly that you become a believer really quickly <laughs> It was not long. Like you just try it for a little while and, and uh, it's, it becomes quite clear pretty soon that they, oh, okay, I see now how this is different. And I can see, like I said, it's a math equation. I can see these numbers changing right before my eyes. And um, so you only have to have the leap of faith for a couple of weeks or a few weeks before you, um, the, the, the evidence is there in front of you. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Hi, uh, Catherine. What would be your number one piece of advice that you would give a person right now that is listening to this interview and think like, hey, I also want to get in shape like Catherine did? What would be the number one piece of advice? My advice would be to do this, to do this for yourself. To, um, my advice would be to make your fitness a priority because it will help in other realms of your life that perhaps you don't anticipate. Whether that's feeling more confident about your body, 
uh, of feeling more confident in what you're wearing or feeling just empowered by the fact that you're so much stronger. Those are all things that are going to um, help you feel great about yourself and improve areas of your life. Um, and and that's something that is healthy for, for everyone. So um, so I would say give it a try because um, it's, it's something you can give to yourself and that's sustainable that you can keep with you. And it, feel, it feels great to feel good about yourself. Great. Great. Thank you so much, Catherine. Very good advice. Is there something that you would like to touch base upon? Is there you know, something that you would uh, have to add like at the end of this interview? Because that's already true it with the questions. So very good. Very good answers there, Catherine. That was quite quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think we covered everything. I just thought, uh, I guess I'll just for you on a personal note that I, that I am extremely grateful. I am, I am grateful that I've, fell into this, what seems kind of like a um, random thing that happened, that uh, I'm really glad that I found it and um, because it has worked so well for me and I couldn't have done it without you. And so I, I feel um, a lot of gratitude for you, Florian. So thank you for all of your help. But, um, yeah, I don't have anything else to add. Thank you so much, Catherine. And I'm also you know, grateful to have you as a, a person I can coach, as a fellow client. You did awesome job along the way. I think it's, I think it would be an understatement to not to say, or it would be say an overstatement say, I just did this. I laid out the right path for you, helped you along the way, but you did, you did the action and you did the essential and work on a daily basis. So well done. Your results are more than deserved. And you know, like, uh, I'm looking forward to see you know, the next steps along your fitness journey. So awesome. Thank you guys and gals for tuning in. This was me and Catherine. And uh, we see you all next time or in the next interview on this page or you know, somewhere where you can find me. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.